Hello and welcome to Ukraine Today. My name is Peter Byrne with the Press Review. Former Ukrainian businessman Alexander Timorenko argues in the Guardian newspaper that the United Kingdom and the U.S. administration should send weapons and ammunition to support the government in Kiev. Power is the only language they understand. Anything else is weakness to be exploited for as long as it prevails. A united and genuine show of resolve by the U.S. and the EU to do whatever it takes to preserve Ukraine's territorial integrity would stop the Kremlin in its tracks. Foreign Affairs magazine, meanwhile, publishes the views of Ukraine experts on whether or not they agree or disagree with providing Ukraine with lethal weapons. Failure to provide defensive military assistance would lead to the intensification of Russian aggression against Ukraine and would further destabilize Europe. It would also convince Moscow that it can engage with impunity in aggressive actions against the Baltic states, among others, a scenario fraught with tremendous risks and dangers. And finally, this from Patrick Tucker from the Defense One Ezine on the drone wars in Ukraine's embattled east. Tucker writes, For the drone warriors of Ukraine, keeping UAVs in the air is a growing challenge. The Russian-backed militias have access to the latest and most sophisticated in signal jamming and GPS spoofing technology from suppliers like the Moscow-based Radio Electronic Technologies Corporation, or KRET, an expensive truck-based anti-aircraft system like the Krasucha 2. Tucker concludes that the crisis in East Ukraine is providing a glimpse of how future wars not only will be fought but funded. It's also a living lesson in how quickly war changes technology and vice versa. This has been Peter Byrne with the Press Review. See you again tomorrow.